The key to a flat stomach is about diet and attitude. How you eat, sleep, and definitely how you deal with stress. So, this video is going to be about my diet. My diet has helped me flatten out my waistline or flatten my stomach or slim my waistline down. It was all about diet and attitude. I knew this, we all know this, but it doesn't really hit home run until we actually do it. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what my diet kinda looks like and I hope this helps you guys out. Stay tuned. So since I haven't taken Nina Detox in a while, I've been just focusing on my diet and I have been following the meal plan or schedule that Manco Fit um, posts on her Instagram page. If you guys aren't following her, she is a great, simple source of encouragement, information on diet plans and workouts. She is an awesome, awesome trainer and I have been using these four mainly to kind of keep me focused and what I eat so in the morning I really try to have somewhat of a large breakfast and what I eat is pretty much the same every day which is kind of similar to Manco Fits but um, I try to always have some scrambled eggs like two eggs oatmeal, some kind of fruit, and I tend to take my supplements and vitamins um, in the morning with green tea or black tea. It's easier for me to swallow peels if I am drinking it with some kind of warm liquid. So my post-workout meal is usually considered lunch for me because I work out in the early morning, but um, this is usually what I eat. I try to um, load up on carbs and vegetables, and if I need something really quick, I'll make a green smoothie before I go out to the gym or before I work out so that I can have it immediately. And for those of you who are wondering what protein shake that I use, I use the Body Fortress We Isolate Protein. And you can usually find that at Myers or Walmart. Now for snacks, I usually try to have one or two snacks a day. I try to keep them small as well. And in snacks, I tend to try and add in the good fats such as avocado and peanut butter or anything with olive oil in it. But yes, these are typically my favorite snacks and I try to keep them very small. For dinner, I like to load up on protein and vegetables. I try to keep my dinner small as well, but I love big salads. I love salads and chicken and fish at night. And sometimes I may have some type of brown rice as a carb if I work out a little bit later in the day. But for my dinners, I always try to have vegetables and protein. Yogurt is my favorite favorite late night snack. I do eat at night, guys. If I am hungry, I am going to eat. It's better to eat something than to starve yourself. So at night, I tend to keep with small things like vanilla Greek yogurt. I only eat Greek yogurt. I don't eat any of the other types of yogurts, but these are my late night snack favorites. And yeah, I tend to keep that very small, about maybe two to three spoonfuls, and that's it. Yes, I do have cheat meals. These usually happen maybe and I say maybe once a week, sometimes it'll happen maybe twice a month. It all depends on what's going on with my life, but my favorite cheat meal is pizza, and I usually have about one to two slices. I stay away from junk foods, that's one of my rules. I do eat boxed macaroni and cheese because I love it and it's my fix. So I like cheat meals, no problem with it. I do not feel guilty after eating them because I do not have large portions of them. So it's always in moderation for me. Okay guys, so since I don't count calories or record 
or write down everything that I eat, I do take pictures and I I usually take pictures of just about everything that I eat, especially if it's something new, just so I could stay motivated and stay on track with what I'm eating. And this is just a large photo um, diary of everything that I eat and I have it all on my computer and on my cell phone. All right, so as you can see, quite simple, quite basic. Every Friday what I'm gonna do is start showing you how I prepare specific meals. And if you guys got any requests out there, be sure to definitely put it down in the comment area. I would love to answer those questions and I would love to try out those things that you guys have mentioned. Otherwise, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to this page. Make sure you subscribe to my main page, Beauty Cut Right. Follow me, I post regularly, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.